Hello, this is Lika from Informatica GCS team. In this video, we shall see types of joints in joiner transformation. The agenda of this video is to see when is joiner transformation used, types of joints available with joiner transformation, and then the implementation of each type of join. Joiner transformation is used when two heterogeneous sources residing in different location or file system need to be joined. That can be a database table and a flat file. The joiner transformation can join homogeneous sources as well. The joiner transformation joins data based on the join condition and the join type. Different types of joins available with joiner transformation. First is normal join. It includes rows with matching join condition only and discards rows that do not match the join condition. Second is master out the join. It includes all rows from detail pipeline and the matching rows from the master pipeline. It discards the unmatched rows from the master pipeline. Detail out the join includes all the rows from master pipeline and the matching rows from the detail pipeline. It discards the unmatched rows from the detail pipeline. Fourth is full out join. It includes rows with matching join condition and all incoming data from the master pipeline and the detail pipeline. Now let us see each type of join with an example. Here employee source is the detail source and department source is the master source. Considering that the join is happening based on department ID, with normal join, only the rows with matching join condition would be returned. So, first three rows here with matching department ID in master source would be returned. With master out the join, all the rows from detail source would be returned and only the matching ones from master source. So, First three rows here with matching department ID would be returned with valid department name whereas the fourth row here which does not have matching department ID would be returned with a null value. With detail out to join all the rows from master source would be returned and only the matching rows from detail source. So first three rows here with matching department ID in master source would be returned. With full out the join, all the rows from both the sources that is detail and master would be returned. So, first three rows here with matching department ID would be returned with valid department name. Whereas the fourth row here which does not have matching department ID would be returned with a null value. Now moving to the mapping. This is my mapping with department relational source containing department ID and department name. This is my another source to the mapping that is employee flat file source containing employee ID, employee name and department ID. This is my flat file source. Here we have a joiner transformation to join both the sources based on department ID and then load employee ID, employee name and department name to the target. If we check the properties of joiner transformation, the join type specified right now is normal join. A workflow has been generated for the mapping and I am starting the workflow now. is running. It has just succeeded and in the statistics here if we see four rows have been extracted from employee source, two are extracted from department source and three are loaded to the target. Let us now go ahead and check our target table. So with normal join First three rows with matching department ID are loaded. Now let us check with master out to join. So 
starting the workflow to check how master route to join works the workflow is running it has succeeded now and in statistics we see that four rows have been extracted from employee source two rows from department source and four are loaded to the target let us check the target this is my master source and employee is my detail source so with master router join all the rows from detail source have been returned and only the matching ones from master source here we can see that four rows loaded with the null department name for the employee who does not have matching department id in master source now let us check with detail how to join starting the workflow for detail how to join workflow has started running it has succeeded and we see that four rows have been extracted from employee source two rows from department source and three are loaded to the target now if we check our target table we can see that with detail how to join all the rows from master source are loaded and only the matching ones from detail source now let us go ahead and check how full outer join works starting the workflow for full outer join the workflow is running it has succeeded and we see that four rows have been extracted from employee source two from department source and four are loaded to the target now if we check our target table we can see that with full outer join all the rows from both the sources have been loaded this is how each type of join works with joiner transformation in informatica refer to the following links for the relevant information we would love to hear from you any suggestion that will help us in improving our video content thank you